Hello, everybody. Hello. Get my volume turned up here. We're making one final blend. Just a two small. We can finally acknowledge. Through one more time. You can do hard. We've been with four great blends. A background. Hi. Can you guys see us? Yeah. Yep. Yay. Okay. <laughs> um Okay. Hi, yeah, everybody's saying hi. Hi. Where are you? Where am I? Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Hey. Awesome. Good, good. Yeah. This stuff wasn't easy, was it? You guys all did great. Yeah. You're yeah. all hired. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's some different blends. I mean, there are a couple that are pretty close, but. So we, we uh, Jared, primarily, but I get called in for the tie-breaking help. Mm -hmm. um, had, uh, I've only tasted four because our amazing judges that got us this far helped us get it down to the final four. So, um, Carrie, Theron, Matt Bergeron, Bill, Rich, all did um, round one. Oh. It was tough competition. And yeah, really, really tough competition. Hi, Bob, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, and then Jake and Craig, were the surprise judges for the third round because they're both sommeliers. So I want you guys to know, if you made it here, you made it past some very well-educated palates. And um, I thought that I would go ahead and let um, Craig and Jake just say a couple things. And then if the rest of the judges want to say a couple things here. Um, uh, Jake, go ahead. Where's Jake? He's right down there in the corner. Hey, Jake. How are you, buddy? How's it going? Good. Um, I was impressed with everything that I got to taste. Um, you know, clearly the source of the grapes was kind of good, so you guys had good stuff to work with. But not a boy. A lot of thoughtful, <laughs> a lot of thoughtful blends, and um, I think Craig can probably talk about this too. But what we saw was two sort of dominant styles there was a style that was more even grenache and syrah and there was a style that was really syrah predominant and there was clearly like this sort of tension between those two styles and obviously some of the limitations are what led you there but there was a lot of good things to say about each one um it was fun. I really enjoyed tasting the wines. Yeah, I think everybody did a great job of the wines that got to me. And um, and uh, the thing that was interesting to me, and this isn't necessarily the case with everyone else, but of the wines I tasted, I thought that one style showed really well right now, which was the Grenache and Syrah even style. Whereas the style that sort of, I wonder if it might age better is the Syrah predominant style. That's fine. Yeah. So, um, Jake, just take a quick second and tell people a tiny bit about yourself so that they get to know how uh, special it is that we got you and Craig in on the. Um, I am currently living in Chicago, but for 20 years I was a sommelier and. Um, uh, restaurateur in Seattle. Um, I'm still one of the partners at Miller's Guild in the Hotel Max, um, uh, but I was the wine director for Cascadia Restaurant, Campania and Cafe Campania, Wild Ginger and the Triple Door, um, and helped a lot of other places like the Herb Farm, um, and um, won a couple of awards for being a sommelier, but mostly was really excited to be part of sort of the beginning of the 
giant push in Washington wines in the United States. I was part of the first sommelier team for the auction of Washington wines and uh, did a lot of work with the wine commission, um, including traveling around the country, promoting Washington wines for a long time. So that's me in a nutshell. Now I work at a restaurant called Z451 in the River North area in Chicago. Awesome, awesome. Craig, you wanna talk a little bit about your background? Sure. Um, so I've been working with, uh, I guess, within the wine industry for, I don't know, about five years or so. So I came from a film background, um, film and photography, uh, video editing and stuff like that, and just uh, basically got tired of it. So uh, it turned out I really liked wine. I, I All I really knew about it, there was white there was red and there was pink I, at the time i didn't really know much else about it and um you know true story but anyway i didn't like <laughs> when we moved here i didn't really like being i was i had a a, a job at a, a bevmo and i didn't really i knew i knew beers and whiskeys just fine but i i didn't know wine that well and i i I didn't like being intimidated by the words that people would say. And I was like, I don't know what any of this stuff means. So basically I, I started down, uh, it just, it just, I'm, I'm a very curious person. So, um, I started reading more about it and I was overwhelmed by the information. So I thought that if I'm actually going to do this, I'm going to go get some certification. So I started down the path of the WSET certification path. I'm, I'm enrolled in, uh, doing the diploma, uh, beginning in the fall. So, um, I got, Let's see. Uh, I just passed a French and Italian wine scholar program, and yeah, I mean it's been it's been a fun fun I guess five years. I mean it's been challenging. It's been a lot to learn, and you know the more I learn, the less I know. And, and um, you know I'm 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 always happy to talk about it. I'm always happy to meet other people who are interested in it, and um, I feel fortunate to work with such a great group that I've got here. And uh, I was felt really fortunate to be a part of this and try all the the amazing wines that were put in front of me and uh, you guys didn't make it easy. <laughs> they were all very, very good. And it was very, very hard to choose. Yeah, so I guess that's really where we want to start is make sure, making sure that you guys all know that everybody was impressed with, uh, I think each of our individual judges, Rich and Bill and Carrie, Matt and Theron, they all, they all said the same thing and um, definitely had a hard time making the decisions, which yeah. I think is always the case, right? Um, but it's, I think it's pretty cool for you guys to have, have some really educated palates and people who, you know, couldn't care more about it, um, judging these. So with that. Yeah. Well, I, I, I just, I was really impressed and actually challenged and I actually kept flipping back and forth between the, the uh, actually all four, but the first top two were really uh, challenging. And when I went back and revisit and revisit, because they all had these nuances and, and different things that, the, that they'd bring forward and, and you wouldn't catch it until, you know, maybe you go back and had a little more oxygen, oxygen to it. So it was, uh, it was challenging. I like the fruit forwardness of, of a lot of them. They had the good, you know, I think we talked about this the first was a, for me, it's really important for the balance aromatics, the front palate, mid palate, and it has a nice uh, finish. And you guys all hit on those components. But one thing that Jake said that really struck to me was the, there's, when you're blending wines, a lot of times you're blending like in this case too, that they're not gonna be released for quite some time. Sometimes it can be up to, you know, well, it depends if we're doing our job right on the sales side, it could be up to a year or, or so. So you're trying to project how that wine is going to age and how that's gonna, you know, you know start showing a, a great distance out of, uh, from what we're doing today. So, but the only way we can judge these or what we're tasting today, because that's kind of the instructions that I think we gave you. And because uh, there's the, the fourth place wine, from my perspective, is going to be a rock star wine. I mean, it's, we'll probably use that blend in something because it was uh, it was really good. Um, but I don't know. But I'll tell you which one I like. I don't know how. You, I don't even know how we're going to. How do you want to do this? Well, this is well I was going to say one thing is that um, yesterday all of the judges got on a Zoom call that is recorded. Um, where we talked about all of the wines. So if you're, um, we're just gonna read off the blends that made it to the final round and then announce the winner and stuff and then and open it up for questions. Um, and so do you want me just to go through this and you can tell me which one? 
Oh yeah, however you want to. So the four wines that made it to Jared. That's me. Um, the first one was number 1357, and it was 54% Syrah, 32% Grenache, and 14 Movedra. And then B, which was 4918, which is 76% Syrah, 20% Grenache, and 4% Movedra. And C, which is number 5832, which is 42% Syrah, 43% Grenache, and 15% Movedra. And then D, which was number 1438, which was 45% Syrah, 45% Grenache, and 10% Movedra. Yeah, so that's pretty, uh, it's kind of fun because three of those are pretty similar in regards to what they're using for Syrah and the Grenache. And then uh, quite a bit of, two of them have almost the limit for the Movedra, which is going to be your acid. And so, and then you got one kind of, all the way out, just majority of Syrah. So, but yeah, I, uh, I can tell you which one, how do you want to do it? Yeah. With the, well, I'll tell you, um, number four, uh, that from my perspective, was, uh, was 4918. And that was a 176 Syrah, 20 Grenache, and four Movedra. I thought, I actually, I liked it. I thought it was, uh, had a lot of ripe fruit, a lot of raspberry, plum, some leather. Um, and it was, I, I thought it was an elegant wine. Uh, had some vanilla, blueberry on the finish, and, uh, and, a, and a pretty rich mouth. Uh, it, I thought that the finish was a little light at, so far, and that was probably uh, the other ones. You know, and then we're judging. Uh, it, it was kind of a challenging because all the other ones had quite a bit more Movedra in them, which is that you know that punch that uh, you know it provides a lot of that acidity to the wines and stuff. So they felt like a little bit bigger wine. This one felt a little fleshy and. But it was really good, and I, I thought it was a uh, it balanced and showed pretty well. But that was a uh, number four, and for the, uh, the third, uh, fourteen thirty eight, that was forty five percent Syrah, forty five uh, Grenache, mm -hmm. and ten Movedra. I got uh, kind of the same, some red fruit with some tobacco and and uh, some coffee out of the aromatics on that is what I wrote. And real good acidity. Uh, but yet yeah, still rich, has some velvet and lavender and minerality. And then the, the finish was, the finish was pretty good. It wasn't in your face. It was well balanced and, and it showed pretty well. So it started getting really challenging when you started going back and forth between these, these uh, number one, two, and three, because their blends were somewhat similar. Uh, so then the only ones that are left, number two and number one. So I'll read number two which was uh, 1357, and that was uh, 54 Syrah, 32 Grenache, 14 Movedra. Uh, what's that? What was that? Did I mumble? Uh, this, my second choice was uh, uh, 1357. Is that right? Yeah. Um, and I had spice. I actually got quite a bit of of heat and alcohol out of the first part of it that kind of dissipated a little bit and got some lavender some stone fruit opened up nice. uh, yeah opened up pretty nice uh and then the acidity level was pretty was really it was it was bright and uh and it really helped the, the blend quite a bit had some licorice in it is what i wrote down uh rich minerality some pepper and some uh herbs and i, I really like that wine but i think the 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 bottom line of that, it was really well balanced and had a good finish, had good aromatics, and it showed pretty well with that one. And then uh, the top one. Which the winner. The winner is. The a, reason you all tuned in today. Yeah. We've drug you on for 15 minutes to make you. It's actually pretty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sorry about that. Uh, 5832. And that was 42 Syrah, 43 Grenache, 15 Movedra, which explains kind of the acid in it. Had quite a bit of strawberries, what I wrote, minerality, uh, vanilla, blackberry. Let's see if I can read my own writing. Uh, at first, it had some, some too, you know, the acid was, it was pretty tart, and, uh, but it, it was just instant. It just gave it kind of a bite. It wasn't so in your face that it was, that that's all you could think about. You know, it wasn't one dimensional by any means. 
uh, and then it had, I loved the finish. I thought it went real well. Again, we had some minerality. I had vanilla, raspberry, and herbs again. But that wine to me was, uh, that wine today is showing the best out of the four wines I tasted. I thought it, I thought it had everything, all the components, the aromatics, and in the mouth and in the finish. So I really, but they were tough. It was a, it was a tough road, but. So Heather, do you want to announce who, who the winner is? Or to go four. Yeah, do you want me to do the top four? Yeah, do number four or three, and then. People might, might already know based on. Might already know. So one observation, the top four are all ladies. Oh, ladies. <laughs> Uh, okay, so number four is 4918, correct? Yep. That's uh, Cindy Jacobson. All right. All right. Nice job. Uh, number three is 1438, mm -hmm. Betsy Ballard. Betsy. All right. Good job. Number two is 1357, Christy Jones. I said that was a good one. Yeah. You yeah, did. You're, you're dancing. You, you, you saw did. my video. Yeah. <laughs> and then number one, uh, five eight three two is Marge Stanley. Woo! Oh you. my oh gosh! gosh. <laughs> wow, keep it in the family. Is that your mom's? <laughs> <laughs> Mother, daughter, first, second, I claim it. Uh, there you go. That is awesome. Yeah, what was it? Woo! That's really cool. That is cool. You guys are <laughs> going to have to kick you out of the program because you guys are <laughs> <laughs> Very good, you guys. I'm going to have a chance, yes. Okay. You guys drink a lot of wine. That's what it's going to be. Do you have any questions? We drink a lot of your wine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. house you. Palette. Am oh, I, we have it on top. We have kings. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, congratulations cool. to everybody. I mean, it was it was a lot of fun to do it. So yes, and and cheers to your wines, Jared. You uh, you make some awesome stuff. Yeah, well, good job, honey. <laughs> wow. Thank you guys. Yeah, that was great. Hey, but yes, congratulations to all. I, I I made notes of all the blends. I'm gonna go play. I'm excited because remember we split ours last time. I, I told you it was done. So, um, we're gonna send every we'll send an email of the bracket so you can see who tasted which wine. Yeah, uh, you did. Um, I think that's kind of fun. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for participating in this. Yeah. I hope you had a good time. I um, was thinking to today when I'm, I've been trying to take notes about things we could do to, uh, oh, goodness sakes, I hope, hope we never have to do it virtually again. But it is. Um, I, I um, was thinking that, you know, the way that we wrote down the blends for some reason was different than how we had them on the bottles, at least Jared and I. So there's simple little things, little tweaks that can make it kind of confusing, um, at least when you've been drinking a little bit. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I didn't get as drunk this time, which isn't quite as fun for me, but it, <laughs> but it was enjoyable. Though. Yeah, it's you guys are troopers. I mean, we know it's been challenging for, for you guys. I mean, we, we really re we appreciate the support you know all you guys give us and you know for the wine club part and everything you do to, to help us survive this thing because yeah, we can't do it without you guys and it means a lot that you didn't just you know when we this all came down you didn't just quit and decide you didn't want to do it and you were willing to do something like this so it means a lot to us i appreciate it yes thanks you guys yes cheers to all of you cheers I've decided yes. that I should never have let my family join in the club. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guys, my mom is BB. My husband is BB. You, you shouldn't say that out loud. He'll go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do another one next month. Yeah. <laughs> Good. All right. Well, every month feels like a year right now, right? Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> And Heather, thank you guys so much. We yes. really appreciate everything you've done and all your support. And been, uh, it's been great. The Washington Wine Commission has been. Yeah, thanks for letting me join in. This was so fun. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it. all the judges. Thank you for everything. It was a great time. We, we just love everything about what you guys do. So thank you so much for everything. Absolutely. You guys did a good job. Your staff did an awesome job. Congratulations, Mark. Thank, so Thank you, Ellie. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, staff. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>
Thank you. It was fun. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I'll come visit you as soon as I can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what, Christy? I was going to say as a little side note, um, Craig, didn't you come from Tennessee? Yeah. Yeah. I, I live outside of Knoxville. I live in East Tennessee. Really? I, I moved here from Chattanooga. Well, my wife and I moved here from Chattanooga about, what, five years ago? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, uh, miss, I normally am out there this weekend, as, as Jared and Allie both know. This is my birthday weekend, uh, last weekend. Yeah. So I'm usually out yeah. for spring barrel serving wine and playing lots of fun with wine. So. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, even from this life. Any away. other birthdays? Um, anybody else have birthdays right around now? No? Well, then we'll just sing to you, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday dear, dear Christy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Washington, with love. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Now All get right. back to work. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All the men better go home and learn how to taste. Yeah. <laughs> really? See you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye, you guys. Good job, Marge. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Marge. <laughs> I know who you're calling. <laughs> <laughs>